Hi, good morning everyone, it's Mark Dorsey here. It's Thursday the 11th of Feb 2016. It's a beautiful sunny day as you can probably see by the sun shining through the windows in my office, which is an absolutely delightful reprieve from the storms we've been having recently. So I thought I'd take this opportunity to shoot a quick video for you in my office because I have some important things I want to share with you. And, but first and foremost, I want to thank a couple of people. And the first person I want to thank is Nick Davis. Nick sent me this book in the post. It's Paul McKenna's new book, Instant Influence and Charisma. Um, Nick actually sent it to me because he said there's some interesting stuff in there that relates to a video marketing day that we ran recently. Uh, I hope that's his excuse. I hope he doesn't think I need in Instant Influence and Charisma or maybe, you know, got to get some of that stuff. But I've actually read the book, Nick, and thank you for sending it. It's actually a, a cracking book and there is some really, really good stuff in there. The second person I want to thank is Terry Strether. Terry Strether sent me this book. It's called The Miracle Morning. It came through the post totally unexpected yesterday and I started reading it and I haven't been able to put it down. It's a fantastic book and it, it's a true story about a young man who in his early 20s had a horrific car crash that literally changed his life. Uh, he suffered brain damage, uh, major physical injuries, and as a result of that, uh, you know, people thought that was his life, you know, his life was over. But what I like about the book is the story about how he overcame that. And he overcame it by taking responsibility for his life. And I'll, I'll come on to that in a second. But first and foremost, you know, I, I am truly, truly grateful for, for Nick and Terry for sending me those books. Because the greatest gift you can give someone in this life is information. Particularly information that people can act on. Now this takes me back to an interesting point, uh, a new point actually, that arose on Facebook a while ago because someone posted a thread on there or posted a comment and people you know, followed along the thread. And the nuts and bolts of this was, was they, they were a brilliant trainer, they've been training for years, they've got qualifications um, from every sort of system and martial art and, and use of force system you can think of because this person is, is a, is a you know, physical skills trainer. But they were miffed and the reason they were miffed was they read an article that said that your qualifications count for less than 20% of your ability to succeed. Now, I'm going to say that again. Your qualifications count for less than 20% of your ability to succeed. Now, that's really important. So if that's true, what's the other 80% relate to? Well, the other 80% relates to the ability for people to like you and to trust you. And that's a really important factor in business because people do business with people they know, like and trust. So if you're watching this video right now and you're thinking, right, I need to go on a course and I need to get all these qualifications. And once I've got all these qualifications, I'll become massively qualified and then everyone will want to train with me because I'm the highest qualified person in my field. Forget it. They're not interested, to be honest with you. Of course, you've got to be able to deliver what you say you can deliver. And in certain industry sectors, you have to have certain qualifications to get a job in those sectors. But fundamentally, people will do business with people that they know, like and trust. And that's been the same for millennia. It's never, ever changed. Which got me thinking. Uh, because a lot of people I deal with uh, and who, who come to me for advice or who I work with will say, look, you know, I want to be the, the best I can be at, at this game. You know, I, I want to be really good. And, and, and it's a real main reason why people get involved in whatever business venture they get involved with. They want to be the best they can be or they're fed up with working for someone else and they want their own business. They want to turn their hobby into their business and, and so on and so forth. But they always state somewhere along the line that they want to be the best. Yet, when it comes down to investing in that ability, they don't do it. They go for second best or third best or even cheapest price investment. So here's the dichotomy in thinking. How can you be the best if you only accept the cheapest? Now this is really important to understand because going back to these books and, and all the other books I read, there are certain universal laws that, that apply. And they, they, they're, they're true and they work. And the fact of the matter is, is you give back exactly what you give out. So if you want to be the best, you certainly can't be the best by actually investing in the cheapest option. It doesn't work like that. You become the best by learning from the best. And you become the best by getting the best information and applying the best information. Now, success leaves footprints. We, we know this. So... Great people who, who've achieved things throughout life, you know, Nelson Mandela, Gandhi, uh, and in different fields, uh, Muhammad Ali in the sports field, Arnold Schwarzenegger in the bodybuilding field. You know, these people leave clues, and the clues are in what they've achieved. Now, if you want to achieve similar things, or live a similar life, or follow similar principles, simple. Read their books, find out how they did it, and follow that process. And it's the same in our field. Find people who are successful. Now, if you are 
I don't know, a martial artist and you want to be the best martial artist in the world, find the best martial artist in the world and train with them. But consider this. Being a successful martial artist doesn't necessarily correlate to earning a successful income because that's only one part of, of the equation. You need to understand how to run a business. And if you're looking at running a business, you need to find out who runs a successful business in that field and copy what they do. Learn from them. Part of business, a big part of business, 80% of business success is down to how you market your business because that's the perception you create in the marketplace. And that perception is hugely important because that's going to dictate whether people like you and trust you. So if you want to learn how to do that, learn from people who've done it and who've achieved for that. Don't go and learn from someone that's just got a marketing qualification. It doesn't matter. You know, they might have a marketing qualification, but it doesn't mean they're good at marketing. They might work as a business advisor. It doesn't mean that they're actually good at business. <laughs> and, uh, and I don't mean to actually, uh, but it's, it's a new point actually, but I don't mean to discredit any bank managers out there or business advisors in banks, but I get phone calls quite regularly from bank managers. I got one yesterday, in fact, uh, who introduced themselves as our new business manager. Now, I've never seen our last business manager from the bank, and the reason I don't see them is they work for a bank. They don't run a business. So, okay, I mean, there's value in what they can offer me. I mean, if I was interested in business, they can show me how to do a cash flow projection and do spreadsheets and whatever it is I need to do. And if I need money, I can go to them and say, look, I need money. What do I need to do to get money? But these people have never run a business. So when I started off looking at how to become successful in business, I went to people who were successful in business. It, it makes sense. Would, would you not agree? Now, here's the real crux of this. And this is the key message I want to get out to you as well. Putting all of that together, Training with the best people, learning from people who've done it before, following their footsteps is really important. But the fundamental fact, the fundamental truth about this is, is you must believe that you can do it. To the extent, and this is the real key secret, you must believe that you've already done it. Your mind is a phenomenal thing. It mirrors the universe and your mind works on instruction. It's, it's, an, it's an obedient giant, basically. It will do whatever you tell it. And if you say, I'm successful, I've achieved this, your mind will start actually producing networks in your brain. It's actually called heavy associative learning. You can look it up or come and train with us and we'll teach you about it, which will actually mirror your thoughts. And this has been hugely successful in many fields. For example, helping people who's, who are stroke victims, for example, be able to walk again by changing the perception and the way they think. Now, if that can happen for stroke victims, it can happen for anyone. And it happened to the young man in this book. He decided to take responsibility for the way he thought. He said what happened to him was a situation of circumstance. He actually says that he was lucky that he was involved in that crash. I mean, that's a thing to say, isn't it? You know, when you've got when your brain damage and your body snatched to bits. But that situation gave him the ability to actually take responsibility for his life. And he decided that there's two things. You can blame people for what happened. Blame has no value. All blame means is you don't take responsibility. So he decided to take responsibility for his life and do whatever it took to become successful. And he smashed all those targets. So my message for you this morning is this. Do what it takes to be successful if you want to be successful. Live life on your terms. Don't be shackled by other people's dogma. You know, Don't live your life by other people's limitations. I mean, everything that we have, this camera that I'm recording this on, the microphone I'm recording on, the computer sat behind me, everything that we have in this life started with a thought process and then an intention and an action sequence to follow it through. You probably have great thoughts, but do you believe they can happen and do you follow them through? My wish for you is you just do it. Just go ahead and do it. Yeah, you'll fall over. Of course you'll fall over. That's life. I mean, the whole basis of, of evolution is built on trial and error. So there's two parts to this, trial and error. So accept it. You're going you're gonna to fail. And you're going to fail many times. But the more times you fail, the more likely you are to succeed. That's an absolute fact. Because every human being, the way we look, is a product of evolution. And that took lots of failures to get us to the point where we now dominate the planet um, and, and have achieved massive great things, as well as some bad stuff as well, of course, but massively on the whole great stuff. You know, we, we can visit other planets, send stuff off into the universe. I mean, all sorts of things. I'm not going to get into that now. But you get the picture. Your life is a representation of the way you think. So don't get caught up in negative thinking. And also, one, one other point, don't get caught up in a poverty mindset. 
And the poverty mindset is something like this. It goes, it goes along these lines. Yes, I'm going to do it when I make enough money. What that tells your unconscious mind is, is you don't have enough money. So therefore, you're never going to have enough money. Or don't send someone a letter or an email saying, you know, I'd love to train with you, but I just can't afford it at this moment in time. That just sends out a message saying you can't afford it. And your mind says you're never going to afford much else. These people get locked into a cyclic uh, sort of circle of life where it's, it's, you know, they're going from feast to famine all the time because the psychology says, yeah, I've got money, great. And they spend money and they haven't got money and they go, well, when I have money, I'll do something. You, you can't work like that. It, it, take control of the way you think. If you want to be successful, start from the point you're successful. If you want to be rich, start from the point you're already rich because actually you already are. So there's my message for you this morning. Uh, I hope it, it strikes a chord with some of you. You can literally, honestly, take control of your life by taking control of the way you think. And that's my wish for you, that's my hope for you. Uh, I just want you to go and do this stuff. And if you wanna find out more about what we do, then you know there's probably a link below somewhere or Google us, you know, you'll find me anywhere, just Google Mark Gord or NFPS Limited and, and we'll come up. But have a great life. It's a lovely sunny day. <laughs>